What's up, YouTube? So, um, you guys will have to kind of excuse my camera. I've only got a phone, and my, my phone carrier doesn't really work that well. Anyway, this is one of my first videos uh, for woodworking. I've done plenty of other videos on other topics, but several months ago, I started doing some <clears throat> woodworking and uh, really remodeling in the house. So, you know, refreshing up some the paint and trim and primer and fixing the walls and did a bunch of craftsman trim in my house and started doing some building some furniture and stuff. So I wanted a table saw. I don't have the I don't have a shop or a garage or anything, so I'm kind of constrained to this little this little spare bedroom where I basically just store everything and do everything out in the driveway. So I needed portability in my table saw, right? So <clears throat> um, I settled on the Dewalt 7491 RS. It's a it's a pretty good saw. It's a job site saw. Um, it does really it's got really good ripping ability it's got a 32 inch rip capacity the rips you have ripped anything you know everything from pine to walnut um it rips it rips it pretty accurately uh it does a real good job with that where it falls on its face at is in cross cutting ability so you see right away the end feed is shallow so you're not going to have a large capacity for cross cutting anyway but it's nice if you can just bring if I can just bring my table saw out and I'm you know making shortcuts repeatable cuts I don't have to bring out this 12 inch slide and miter on the stand or you know the smaller 12 inch non-slider um, and theoretically really should be more accurate on the table saw so the problem is though is that the miter slots on this this isn't a, it's an aluminum table um, and it's got a coating on it what I was finding is trying to cut wooden sliders, hardwood sliders, it was terrible. I could not get them to not bind. So I said, well, let me try the Craig slider. All right, so this is the Craig miter slider, uh, miter bar. It's a really nice machined. It's very, very square. It's very, very flat. You know, it, it's really a really good bar. Stuck it in there. I like to went crazy trying to do, trying to make the little adjustment screws over here because I couldn't get it to not bind anywhere. So I said, okay. Let me try the Anchor slider, just out of curiosity. You know, these are fairly inexpensive. I think this is, I think this one was 25 bucks. It's super heavy duty, by the way. So if you're in the market for miter slider, man, this my, uh, miter bar, this Anchor is, man, this thing's got to be a pound and a half, two pounds. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty heavy. It's really heavy duty. The adjustments are really nice on it. The Craig is also really nice. Um, but anyway... You put it in there, you put it in there, and the slot would just, it did the same thing. It just was, it would just bind it. I couldn't, couldn't figure out. I got tired of dealing with it. Um, so, in the instructions, in the Incro thing, it said, here's a tip. If you experience binding, it might be that the miter slots are not parallel, perfectly parallel. You can do, there might be a high spot, whatever. Just sand it down or file it down and where, where you see it binding. And I saw and I thought, wait, wait a minute. So with a cast iron table, like a good powermatic saw or you know, a good saw stop that have cast iron tables, those those saws are cast iron, they're cut, they're usually pretty smooth on the insides, right? But this saw has a coating on it. And I don't care how good you are, you're not gonna get a coating to evenly run. So what I discovered was the coating on the inside of the miter slots was real rough and real high end high end spots so the only way to the only way to fix that is to level that out so i'm at the point now i'm like i don't care anymore about cross cutting on this saw worst case scenario is <clears throat> i'll go get a track saw i'm tired of dealing with it i'll just use it as a ripping saw and we'll be done with it but check this out so the craig that used to give me fits slides right in the slot in the slot there we go so you get it in the slot slides with no problem and here's the best part look at here zero and i mean zero wiggle back and forth in the slot want to see something even better check out the anchor put the anchor in the slot it's got a t it's got a little t notch notch in it so it fits right in here so once you get it in there it's not coming out. Put this one in there. And again, when I say zero wiggle, I mean zero wiggle. And no binding. How did I do it? 
pretty simple. I took a piece of scrap wood, some 60 grit sandpaper, put it inside. Oops, sorry. Put it inside. Hard to do this with one hand. And just made a couple of passes on the inside of the slot. That's it. Go make a crosscut sled for your 7491RS now.